What is adjusted gross income and how do you calculate it? Well, to start with, uh, adjusted gross income is an income tax concept. That is, individuals are taxed on their adjusted gross income, not all of their income. So what do we mean by adjusted gross income? Well, to start with, AGI is a combination of all your applicable income sources minus deductions. Now, I have to caution you when I tell you all applicable income sources because there are many sources of income that are exempt from uh, inclusion in this group. And we'll go over these in a second. But to start with, let's say that you collect all of your income sources, you subtract your deductions, and you end up with AGI. We'll also talk about the various types of deductions that are available. Now, all of these are calculated on your individual income tax return, your Form 1040. For businesses that are subject to income taxation at the entity level, uh, such as uh, corporations taxed under subsection C of the Internal Revenue Code, uh, they would do this same calculation on their applicable income tax return document. But for the individual, it is Form 1040. Now, what are the sources of income generally that are included in adjustable gross income or AGI? Well, to start with salary and wages. That's number one. That's the money you receive from your employer for do, doing your job. Self-employment income. If you have your own business and you work for yourself, the funds that you receive uh, as a flow through uh, your business entity or if you're a sole proprietor and you receive it directly, all of this is part of your adjusted gross income. Uh, dividends. That's it. if you own a corporate entity form, that is, you possess shares of stock in that entity and you receive some of the profits or retained earnings from that entity. Uh, generally, this would be uh, a dividend tax at your normal income tax rate under certain circumstances. It could be a qualified dividend, which would be taxed at a slightly different income tax rate. Interests on loans, uh, loans including uh, deposits in uh, interest bearing or interest earning accounts. So any interest that you earn on these types of accounts or through promissory notes or commercial paper issued, then again, this would be subject to ordinary income tax rates. Uh, gains on the sale of property, which is when you sell uh, any real or personal property that you purchased for more than you purchased for it. Uh, the difference between what you sell it for and what you purchased it for is your gain. Again, this would go into uh, your income tax um, calculation for AGI. What are some sources of income that are not included in uh, your AGI? Well, these are some examples, but workers' compensation benefits, child support, life insurance proceeds, disability payments, uh, certain exemptions when you uh, from capital gains, such as the sale of your personal home, uh, scholarships, gifts, or inheritance, inheritance uh, from someone, uh, foster care payment, uh, retirement account rollovers that uh, meet the qualifications uh, for such a rollover uh, would be exempted. Uh, now, what are deductions? Well, deductions are generally types of payments that you make or expenses you incur that the government thinks you should be able to pay with pre-tax dollars, that you should pay them before the money you use. Uh, to pay them is subject to income tax. Uh, some of the most notable are uh, interest you pay on mortgages, interest you pay on student loans, uh, any self-employment or other forms of taxes that you pay, such as uh, local property taxes, um, in some situation your health insurance uh, benefits, and in some uh, instances when it exceeds a certain amount, <clears throat> the uh, payments you make for qualified health benefits, uh, certain insurance dispenses, expenses, many other business expenses that you would incur as a, a sole proprietor or a business owner, uh, certain charitable deductions, etc. Now, there are some less common forms of uh, income that are included in gross income outside of those traditional ones, such as wages, dividends, interest, gains. Uh, to start with, tax refunds, right? When you receive a tax refund, you're receiving money back that you never pay taxes on. This would be included. 
okay? Um, offsets in local state income tax can also be considered income for uh, tax purposes. Long-term disability benefits, uh, Social Security benefits, awards from uh, winning contests, gambling prizes, things like that, all would be considered. Uh, spousal support when uh, taxes have not already been paid on those funds. Uh, any severance or bonus benefits from your employer. And then any royalties that you receive from licensing or, or otherwise selling um, some intellectual property interest and assets you hold. So again, these are lesser less common forms of uh, income, but collectively, if you add all of these up, you end up with your the income that is subject to taxation minus your deductions, which uh, again can be itemized as we talked about, or you could take a standard deduction uh, based that is uh, applicable to you based upon your individual income tax rate. Cannot take both. You either take itemized or standard deduction. And this comes out to your adjusted gross income, which will be a which will be taxed uh, based upon the income tax bracket you are in for that income. So with that being said, this is how you calculate your AGI on your form 1040.